After Mount Sinai, God led Israel to Canaan. Before they entered, they wanted to send spies. So God told Moses to send 12 spies, one from each tribe of Israel. The spies saw tons of stuff including big cities, giants, and fruit. When the spies returned, they brought really big grapes and other fruit back. However, ten spies said the people there were too powerful. This scared everyone. But two spies trusted God, Joshua and Caleb. When they gave the report, the people became angry and wanted to stone Joshua and Caleb. Suddenly, a bright light flashed in the tabernacle. God told Moses he would destroy Israel and make Moses and his descendants a great nation, but Moses pleaded for Israel. God pardoned Israel, but everyone over 20 years old would not enter the promised land. So all of Israel had to wander in the wilderness for another 40 years. Throughout those 40 years, Israel would rebel and complain. One time Israel complained they were thirsty. Aaron and Moses went to God, and God gave Moses very specific instructions. He was to take his rod and gather Israel together and speak to a rock, and water will come forth. But Moses was so angry, he hit the rock twice with his rod. Water still came forth, but there were consequences. Because of this, God was very upset with Moses and Aaron, and he told them they would not enter into Canaan. Aaron died in Mount Hor, but his son Eliezer became the next high priest. Much later, Moses wrote the Pentateuch. Moses told Israel about everything they have been through and encouraged them to obey God. Moses passed his leadership to Joshua. Before Moses died, God let him see the promised land. God himself buried Moses. 